Hello everyone, welcome back to Python Tutorials by Code Warriors. Today we are going to talk about another good topic in Python. Important topic that is file handling. Now, by the word you would have understood what is what file what I'm going to talk about. What is it? It means file handling is a concept of you know accessing using files with the help of the Python syntax. Now, with the help of the Python, we can create a file, we can open it, we can edit it. We can close the file, delete the file. Yes, we can whatever the work we are going to do, we do normally with the help of the we create files, we write something inside of it, and we save it all. That all of those things we can do with the help of the Python syntax, and that's what we are going to talk about here. So without wasting any time, let's move on to our spider and see how we can work with the file by using our Python syntax. Okay, so here we are. Now while creating a file, we have to keep in mind of three things, two to three things. Uh, like, uh, uh, first let me tell you the syntax of creating a file. So if we say let's create a variable like file, or uh, let's say f only, it is short. Open, open is a command, or uh, you can say method of creating a file. Okay, f is equal to open, and then we write whatever the file name we want to create. Let's say any new file, new underscore file. Okay, uh, make it more simple. File underscore one, file one. Now, now the thing comes. Now there are certain uh, characters like X. Then there is W. Then there is A. Hey, wait a minute, let me. Yeah. Then there is R. Now these are some characters. Or you can say parameters that needs to put over here. Everyone has its own separate meaning. Like X means uh, creating a file. Okay. W means uh, writing inside of the file means when you create a file, it rewrites. Uh, w means basically rewriting up into a file. Like if file is empty, it will write from the beginning. If file is not empty, then what it will do, it will remove everything and it will rewrite. So basically we can say rewriting or rewrite. Okay, A is an appending, not just opposite of rewrite. In rewrite what happens, it removes the whole whatever written inside the file and starts from the beginning. But up, what append does, it appends the file means wherever the file ends, it starts from there. Then there is R. R means reading the file. Okay, so right now we are creating a file. So f is equal to open. We get the file name and the parameter that we will give is x. Okay, and if we run this much, let's see. And in the file section, you can see a file is created over here. Whatever the directory you are working on right now, like right now for this tutorial, I've created one directory in my drive D with the name of file handling. And that was an empty, uh, you can see here, uh, in my drive D, I've created this folder, file handling, and this is my file one over here, which I've created. Okay, so now this is, uh, this is the, uh, we have created the file. Now, if we want to write in a file, there, this there is a different command, where it is f dot you can see here okay okay f dot uh, this write function there yeah, there are a lot of functions write close read read lines read line append flush insert seek write lines there are lots of functions and right now we are going to use write function because we are going to write something inside of the file and what are we going to write ah uh, let's say a uh, new file it's simple okay now let's run this let's see what happens and uh, it gives us output 8 you, here you can see and this means is like there are 8 characters inside of the file 8 characters that we have written just now okay now if you open this file let's see you will see there is nothing inside of the file right now because there is one more concept inside of it right now it is in a like a write mode like it is uh it is telling to the user that you keep on writing whatever that you want to write you are right now you are opening you are in the inside of the file and you are not reading it right now 
I've given you this function over this R parameter says reading. Right now I'm not reading the file. So that means whatever written in the file I can't see right now unless I read it. Okay. Or you can say unless I not just read it. And read means when you print it out then read because that works. Unless I close this file. Now if what if I do I put f dot close. Okay. And if I run this line. Now my file is closed. And now if I open it, now it says there is a new file over here. Let me zoom in this one too. You can see it says new file. Earlier there was nothing written over there. Now, closing a file is a very good practice so that uh, like if you are opening two or three files, you don't get confused and you, you don't uh, miswrite anything inside of a file that you don't want to write it with you somehow because you did not close the file and you just did something wrong. So closing a file at every step, one task is done, close the file, like you want to write into the file, uh, open the file, write inside of it and then close it. You want to read it, then again re open the file for re at read mode and again work on it. Let me show you how. Now I want to read the file. So again f.open and same way whatever the name of the file was file file 1 and if I give the parameter this time r r means read now if I run it now we are in the read mode now if I say print f dot read and if I run it now it printed out here as a new file as you can see over here. So this is read mode inside the file. Now we can also do one thing. Okay, let me show you one thing. What if I run it again? Let's run it again. And it gives me empty. There is nothing inside of it. Okay, let's maybe it's some kind of glitch. Let's run it again. Okay, again it is empty. There is nothing written over here. Why? What's happening? Uh, maybe our file must have deleted. No, but it is present over there. As you can see, new file is still there. So what happens basically is when you, okay, uh, let me again read it. Okay. And again print it. So what happens when you read the file, your file pointer is right now at this position, the position one, my position zero, index zero it is. Okay. And it prints how much you ask him to print. It prints that much. When you said f dot read, and uh, you did not give any parameter inside of it, it will read the whole, whatever written inside of the file, it will read it completely. So what happens when it reads it completely, the pointer reads at the last. Now when you set it again to read, now this file pointer, this is called file pointer, file pointer is at the last position. Now there is nothing left to read it. The whole file is empty after that two words. There's nothing left to read. So it starts giving me an empty. That there is nothing to read inside of it but when I again uh, open the file in the read mode again the file pointer is initialized back to index 0 and uh, again it printed me a file read new file sorry okay so this is the read concept and uh, how file pointer works now for f dot read takes a parameter like if we say 4 okay and if we run it now it printed only new. Now four parameter is tells us up to which point you want to read that file. Up to which index position you want to read that file. Now if we see here, it is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. It does not count 4. It leaves the 4 outside and up to this place it will read it, read the file. Now this is the a working of a file pointer. Means sorry. Uh, parameter giving inside of a read function method okay so now this is read method now if I say okay I make close it again f dot close now if I again open this file f equals to open and again file underscore one and I write here give it parameter w now let's see what happens. F9. 
Okay, let's check the file. And so you see, file is empty right now. I told you what w does it rewrites it means whatever it inside the file it deletes everything it creates a fresh new file with that name so now if we write anything inside of it it will be fresh new uh, sorry f dot write and whatever we write inside of it new file one and if we run it and again we have to close first to see it and if we close it and let's check it out it says new file one over here and we can also check it in our like file folders and you can see here it is a file one file over here and if we open it okay my computer is getting slow I think okay it's taking us a lot of time something is wrong Wait a minute. It's not opening. Okay, I have to open with Notepad plus plus. And you see here. Anyways, it says new file one over here. Whatever editor we use doesn't matter. It says new file one whatever we have written with the help of our or uh, this here script okay this python syntax now this was the written now if i say now i've closed the file again let's open it again f dot okay don't write it again only simply if we write here a now we have seen a here a means appending the file right appending means adding at the last position wherever the file ends it starts adding from there so if I create a little space over there just so that we can see it properly and run all these three lines again now let's see what our file is here you can see new file one new file one written twice check in the node plus 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 okay here you can see here it is giving me this file has been modified by another program do you want to reload it yes and you can see here it says new file one new file one. so this is how we append the file okay now we've talked about uh, uh, writing inside of the file now let's talk about how to remove things from the file now how are you gonna remove things now again for removing removing things we have to open the file in the uh, you can say either in the append mode or in the read mode oh sorry in the right mode but if you open the file in the right mode and that means file will, everything will be removed from the file but we want to remove only certain uh, certain thing from the file like we have written a long sentence and we want to remove a certain thing from the end of the file how are we going to do it so uh, it's a simple syntax okay we have opened the file again let's open this file f9 okay and then we say uh, f dot truncate this truncate method what it does is uh, whatever the uh, uh, parameter or in the index you give inside of it like 20 or 10 or any index it will uh, you know you can say it will accept only that much of the index inside of the file and rest of it it will remove from the file so now if we say if we say here we have uh, let's up to put it up to 10 and uh, let's run it Let's see what happens. Okay, spelling mistake. Truncate. Okay, so here it gives the output 10, means it has only accepted 10 objects now in the little file. And if we close the file now, well, let's see what what is left in the file. Only new file one is left. You can see here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are only 10 indexes left inside of the file. The rest everything is removed. So this is how we can truncate uh, the, the file or you know delete the items which we don't want inside of the file. And it works, it uh, it basically not deletes it, it only accepts that much and removes the rest of the things. So if you give the index 10, it will accept only up to the index 10, removes the rest of the things out of the file.
okay so next so okay let me show you something um okay oh uh, let's uh, open this file in the read mode let's say f is equal to oh uh, let's read it uh, let's run it from here okay I open the file from the read mode. You can see in the output screen, I have opened the file in the read mode now. Now I'm in the read mode, and uh, I have printed it f dot read four f nine. Uh, sorry, f nine, and it printed me to the fourth index new. Now next time when I'm gonna print it, it will print after the new word, right? Because it has accepted that much of the inside of it. So next time it will print, it will print after that because file pointer has changed its position. But what if we want to change the position of the file pointer? We again want to print it, print this hole and uh, we want to change the position of the file pointer. Okay. So there is this one method called uh, f dot seek. Now this, what the seek method does, it changes the position of the file. A file pointer so if I uh, whatever the index you will give over here it will change the file pointers position to that index now if I say again 0 and if I again print it f dot read okay I change the file pointer to 0 and then I read the whole file and you'll see in the output screen it says new file 1 over here so this is what C does it uh, changes the position of the file pointer. Now, sometimes you don't know what is the position of the file pointer or you are making a big program. You need to use some kind of a if else condition with the, uh, on the basis of the file pointer, but you don't know what the file pointer is. If you don't know where the file pointer is lying at that moment, yeah, when you have a big paragraph or sentences, you're not gonna count the file pointer. How are you gonna find out what's the file pointer right now? So there's this other method f.tell. Now what it will do, it will tell you the position of the file pointer and you can see here it says 10 9 okay if I run it again f dot seek 0 or uh, let's change it to something else oh, 4 okay now if I run it f9 now file pointer has reached to f4 and let's confirm it you see here the file pointer is at fourth position so this is how we can find out the position of the fi file pointer now, as you have seen, uh, uh, we have written the file like uh, f dot write new file. But what if you want to change the line? Okay, because whatever I'm gonna write, it will keep on writing in the same line. It is not gonna change the line. So the concept is simple. Oh, where should I see? Okay, here in this line, let's roll the track. Okay, I'm gonna open this file on the append mode, and then. I'm gonna write a simple uh, simple Python or any programming concept of changing the line that is backslash n. Okay, and whatever you write out here, okay, like the new line and again backslash n, again new line two, and if I run uh, run this whole and then close the file. Now let's check the file. Now here you see these two are from earlier. Then right now we change the line and we wrote it new line, new line two. Now this is how you can change the lines. Then if you are talking about changing the lines, then there are other two methods. F dot uh, read lines, but for that we have to go to the read mode first. So again, let's call the read mode from here only. Okay, now we are in the read mode. Now f dot read line. So what it does, it reads out the line. What is the first line in the program? Now one line is complete. Again, if we run it, now it will print the second line. Second line is over. Again, if we run it, it will print the third line. Now if we run it in a loop, it will keep on printing the lines. All the lines, whole. Yeah, you know, it will print out the whole, or you can say whatever the paragraph or sentence you've written. And you can put also some kind of a, you know, a, a loop with some kind of a breaking point that it will only print uh, two out of three lines or one out of three lines. No concept. Now, okay, let's uh, bring back the pointer to back to zero. 
f dot six zero pointers again back to zero. Now there is another method called read lines. Now what it does, you can see here. It you see here this is the this format you can see here. What it did, it created this format. It converted uh, you know whatever the file is into a list divided at the point of the line change. Now you see first line was new file new file one. Now forward slash n is telling the line is getting changed and it breaks the object over here and then another create another object new line first back backslash one then new line two it creates three objects because there were three lines so this is what app dot read lines does. read lines and then there is read line earlier we run read line only this time lines read lines okay so this is all in the file handling. I've told you how to open, close, read inside the file, write inside of the file. Okay. Now this is all about file handling. Okay. Keep practicing on it. Not there's nothing much to practice it, but just you know, keep uh, some certain things in the mind, like uh, when to close the file. If you are writing in the file, then you need to be in the write mode. If you are reading in the file, you need to be in the read mode. You need to keep these things in mind keep uh, always keep a track of your file pointer okay if you keep these things in the or if you keep track of these things uh, you will not miss out in anything inside the file handling it's a very simple stuff nothing much to you know confuse us about okay so keep practicing it let's end this video over here